ever have one of those days when you just really are not feeling all that creative and you get down in the art studio and you try to force creativity and it just doesn't happen. I'm sure you've experienced that before, but one of the things that I decided um, is that I don't have a whole lot of choices when it comes to my decorative tissue paper. And honestly, these are expensive and I just had a wild idea. Why don't you just make your own? So that's what I did. And if you are interested in seeing how I made those and give you a little bit of inspiration to make some of your own, then don't go away. We're gonna get right to it. So to get started, just grab yourself a background stamp and some archival ink and some tissue paper. I've cut this down um, pretty much into quarters. So this is just, I don't know, 12 by 12, something like that. And start inking these up. Now I specifically use archival ink because I don't want it to bleed if I get it wet in my art journals. And you know, that's what I would recommend. And just make sure that you ink the stamps up really well. You want a nice dark print. This is something that I will often do, a little mundane project where I am just making ephemera. So this is one way, rather than going out and buying it, you can put these together so that you have your own tissue papers. And so I literally, one Saturday afternoon, um, having a hard time getting myself motivated and thought, you know what, I'm just gonna start stamping some images. So this is an, a sample of something I did with a, a large background stamp. If you wanna get a little bit more creative, you can actually pull out individual stamps and do somewhat of just a little collage in the background and have fun with it. This, to me, is just as fun to be creative with as doing paint or, you know, any of these other creative forms, but just, gosh, in such instant satisfaction by getting these images out and there's no stress because there really is not a specific format or anything that I have to follow with this so I find that fun and relaxing and then you have all kinds of different tissue papers to choose from. Most of the stuff that I am using is from Stampers Anonymous, very Tim Holtzy. There's a reason everybody loves these because they are so stinking fun. I love this butterfly stamp. One of the other things about this archival ink is it's very hard to get off of your stamp. I will stamp off, try and get as much ink off of it. Um, if I feel like it's super wet, I'll um, get a wet rag or something, or if you've got a stamp pad that you can wipe them off on, that works out too. So just putting a little bit of some cursive lettering in the background and more. I think I'm done. Oh, one more. Okay, now I'm done. Isn't that cute? So if you do not have tissue paper, or maybe you want a little bit of a different texture, this is um, deli paper. And I believe you can print on deli paper also, although we have not done a lot of that. But that is something that you can experiment with. But I'm just taking a big stamp pad and it's it's stamping right on this just fine and um, this is also just a simple way to make some backgrounds if you don't have a lot of stamps then um, you know just use some little cheapies you've gotten from the dollar store that's exactly what this is and just stamping some little flowers on there a lot of times you know it really doesn't matter what you put in the background just you want those little images to kind of peek through and so it's just nice to have that. If you don't have a lot of stamp sets, then just get you a permanent marker and just make some marks. Obviously, I'm going very fast here, but this is just scribbling cursive. This really looks cool in the background. I do that a lot. Um, you can also get a little bit more specific with it. If you want to do something a little more decorative, you can draw some flowers. You could sit down in front of the TV and just draw you out some little images and doodle away. And before you know it, you'll have a page full of background images. 
So this is a little bit of a Zentangle-esque image that I'm doing here, but basically just drawing lines. Very simple, but it looks really cool once you get it all done. The other thing you have to remember too is that this is not necessarily going to be at the forefront of your art journal spread, but if it's in the background, you know, people are not going to see your mistakes. So don't get too hung up on it. It's just to give you some additional types of texture materials to put in the background of your art journaling spreads. But how cool is that? You can just do circles. This is another one that I use a lot in backgrounds is just little clusters of circles or orbs, whatever you want to call those. And you can fill a page with these and it looks so cool in the background. Now, the other thing you can do is take advantage of this time and use this as practice on your line work. Practice keeping the distance between those lines the same spacing or practice drawing straight lines. I'm actually kind of impressed with how straight those are. <laughs> so, um, so here are just a few of the pieces that I put together. And oh my gosh, this was so much fun. Those were pretty much just my backgrounds. I did those on a little bit larger. And then um, I've got my little half size sheets here. And how fun are these? And you can do them anytime you want. Share with your friends if somebody else has some background images or stamp sets that you like. Borrow them and make you some background. You can use this on cards or art journal spreads or just about anywhere you want. And these are so fun to make. So I'm gonna encourage you to make some of your own for your next project. Oh, look at that, I love that chandelier. This is one of my favorites and any of you that are Harry Potter fans have got to appreciate this, but boy, I tell you that was just, I love that, my favorite. And this Stampers Anonymous really has some cool, most of the ones that I use now, a lot of them are older and retired or no longer available, but these are all still available. They still do these blueprint images for different um, holidays and you know, they're really cool. I love these. This is actually a stamping up set that I put together with the bumblebees are so popular these days. And then again, here's just some others that are backgrounds. I've got cursive ink, just newsprint type, and just some little dots that I stamped all on a page. So fun to make, really did have a great time doing these. So I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time.